Hello, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm not intending to create a clip right now. However, this uh, next 10 minutes are spectacular. It is about 4.35 in the evening, okay? Because time passes by, you cannot uh, avoid this. I mean, time passes by. And I will tell you only what is about. This clip belongs to this category. I, I know what it is about, but I don't know how to say it, how to articulate. And I think it is uh, an amazing scenery already, isn't it? And let us focus somewhere here, I think, yes. It was the aft door, okay. 10 minutes now. Just spectacular, okay. Here I can as well, isn't it? Yeah. So at least uh, we'll tell you what it's about and then we will continue another time. I think so. Where we are. Be patient. This is maximum. So it seems it is maximum. The tutorial has to do with lights adjustment during landings and so on, because I see many mistakes here. Actually, the way you have your lights adjusted, you, you cannot land safely, I think. And also, another reason I, I mean, I, you know, I connected, let's say, I, I locked on, I changed some settings. And we have this wonderful result because actually uh, uh, at, at the time being I was testing things like this. Uh, let's say frames, performance, response, such things. Yeah, for instance, okay, this is the other camera, the external camera. You see, I mean, see how quick is the response. You will make just a few changes and you will have this amazing result. Uh, a perfect combination of performance and FPS, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is amazing indeed. Aft, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, see here. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, explain to you right now what I mean because cannot uh, turn the engines on just with one click with CTRL E. This doesn't work with the Antonov. You see, here, temperature is about 2 degrees. I checked it out uh, live, I mean. The temperature here in the place is 2 degrees above zero. Celsius. Okay. So, unfortunately, I cannot, uh, let's say, CTRL E. It doesn't work. Suppose you are convinced to download this plane, isn't it? There was a tutorial about this thing. I mean, what to say? Uh, 28 wheels and 4 front wheels. This makes 32 and 6 engines. Yeah. Only this 5-10 uh, minutes, I mean. Okay, I can, I can go back. I can go back in time, isn't it, if I... Shall I? No, I will not. Okay, if I go here... Yeah, exactly here, weather and so on, but I will not. I just uh, restarted uh, from uh, a runway with uh, the engines running. So, at least uh, I can tell you what will be about. Okay, yes. You will have an idea, yes, exactly. I, I mean, I just started from the runway. And you do the same with your planes. It looks wonderful, of course. However, here you have to change everything. You cannot land like this. I mean, you just can't. It is, it is a mistake. I mean, no one lands like this. No one lands. Airliners above 737 with these lights adjustment. This is totally wrong. It will be about this problem. Now, the truth is that when you start from the runway like this, then you just take off and you continue. And here comes the 
worst combination, I mean the most vulnerable combination, your light adjustment is something like this. Have in mind that about, let's say, more than 15, 20 knobs in all these planes concern lights. They are about lights. And this is not only with this plane, it is with, I think, with all planes. I mean, there is only one tutorial uh, about these things and concerns, uh, I think, the 767-400 or the 767-300, I'm not sure. Have a look at the link at the description above which of the two is. Anyhow, I told you what is the problem, isn't it? I suppose that you see the difference, isn't it? So the light set up during landings and during night flights, it's something like this, isn't it? And this will be the tutorial about, actually. This is uh, quite different, isn't it? This is how you land. This is how you land. And uh, I was saying that the vulnerable combination is... This happened a few times. It actually it happened recently during landing in Tel Aviv. Uh, if, for instance, the lights on the runway don't work, then uh, you have uh, additionally another problem. It is obvious, isn't it? Because the more light you have inside, uh, the cockpit and so on, you cannot uh, see outside. I mean, this, these are principles of eyesight, aren't they? Yeah, I think this would be all for now. For instance, let me show you how it was in the beginning. Many things you have to adjust. Yeah, I mean, your cockpit is not a disc, okay. Uh, when we started, uh, by default, isn't it... Uh, from the runway. <laughs> this is funny. I mean, this is really funny, isn't it? This is really funny. And here there was another knob, something, but uh, to this plane it is transferred on the upper panel. I think the glare shield brightness. So uh, this is about, isn't it? Now, if you land like this, it will be, of course, what to say, you will not see your runway. It will be the tutorial about. I will uh, show you how to make these arrangements. And, and by the way, a very nice surprise were the lights of the Antonov 225. That was a really nice surprise. The lights are quite strong, I mean. Uh, it is like having a an add-on, isn't it? For other planes, we have add-ons for this thing from Flight SimTO. There are tutorials about these things. Now, where are we? I don't know. I will not tell you. Not many will understand. Baltistan! Baltistan! See, see the lights. I mean, it is impressive. Okay, let us go inside the cockpit, ladies and gentlemen. I think I will not insist. I only have to show you how to proceed to the correct light arrangements. Can I save this flight? Can I save this flight for a short time? Maybe I will do so. Okay, so I will continue later. So let's get started. I would suggest you to have an initial point of view, something like this. Here are the three saved main cameras pilot, first officer, and the well-known WAG camera. What's up, guys? The What's up, guys camera view. Uh, because like this, somehow, okay, you can manipulate overhead panel a little bit with the mouse, and you can see what uh, changes, isn't it? So, two similar terms in the beginning. Glare shield lighting brightness and glare sheet brightness, which are quite similar actually. Glare sheet lighting brightness is these lines here. I suppose there is a light reflected on the main control panel here. So, it is okay, you can uh, have glare sheet lighting brightness adjusted to, let's say, 50%, it is just excellent. Now. Glare shield brightness 
is the light inside the indications, all these indications here. Can I have a look like this? Maybe it will be slightly better. Yeah, maybe I can. So if you have a look now, okay. Have in mind that there is also a short time of a response to all these knobs many times. So you see that uh, we can see the indications better with, uh, let's say, 100%. Afterwards, of course, we can as well have minor adjustments, but it is okay. Let's say, I think it goes by default at uh, 50%. And that is exactly the value we set. Okay, so this is done. Now about the dome light, okay. Of course, the dome light is somewhere higher here above the panel the overhead panel and uh, you see that there is some difference so dome light okay what to say five percent ten percent maybe ten percent it is just excellent and now comes circuit breakers and overhead panel this is the overhead panel isn't it again uh, you can see the what is written on the knobs better if you set this to 100% but I think that it is just fine to let it let's say about okay about 40% actually as I said afterwards you can have some additional minor arrangements so we are done with all these three here and now we go to panel light brightness control which actually arranges uh, the lights on the two MCDUs here, isn't it? Please have a look. I don't know how can it be more visible. Yeah, let's say something like this. You see, now you can see all the keystrokes actually, isn't it? Here. And now we turned it off. So this is just fine. I mean, you can let a value of about 50%. Uh, it is just excellent. The about ale stand and flood. This we will see again, this uh, flood lights. Somehow, I don't see any major changes. So, okay, let it do something like 10%. It will be just fine. And now we go to some important controls. This is alt and arrows, the arrows on the numpad, okay? Arrow down, alt and arrow up, you go forward. Maybe I can as well take out the yoke. Have in mind that these uh, adjustments are different in the Boeings. For instance, the, the 2767 Boeings, the 767-300 and the 767-300. 400. If you arrange all these uh, knobs uh, exist from the right and from the left side, actually from the left and from the right side, isn't it? Exactly here and we will have a thorough look here. So uh, there are other Boeings, I think it was the 767, where if you arrange just one side, for instance here, from the pilot's side, Automatically, it is arranged also the other one, but mostly you have to do separate adjustments. Okay. Extremely important is floodlight. This, I think, is by default. Now, here it is floodlight. This is uh, by default 100%, but this is too much. So, have a look here, please. You see. So, floodlight not more than 5-10%. I think it is just fine. Now have a look at all these knobs here, which are not operational, isn't it? And here also, for instance. So you go here, instrument lightings, and if we set it to 0%, you see, there is no light at all, again. Okay. So this doesn't bother, let's say, it's just fine to be, let's say, 60% or 50%. Okay. And the truth is that it 
took me quite some time to find that responsible for all this mess concerning the lights adjustment in the cockpit is this knob here, map brightness. Here there will be a major change. Have a look, 100%, you see, and 0%. So, let it be only 5% and then we can have, let's say, uh, minor adjustments. And exactly the same, you can uh, adjust from the other side. Let us take out the yoke. So, all these knobs, we can adjust also from the first officer's point of view. Most of all, the map brightness have a look here you see yeah this is a major change isn't it five percent flat light lighting we said about you see it is a major change not more than ten percent yeah uh, actually these two map uh, brightness and flat light lighting cause the problem Let's say something like 15%, 10, 15%, it is just fine. Now see, for instance, isn't it? Instrument lighting, I explained already. Have a look here. All these knobs here. You see, it totally disappeared. The light totally disappeared. This is 100%, and I think it is just fine, something like let's say 50% from the other side yeah it, it is also 50% yeah uh, yeah I was right so it is just excellent now about PFD the primary flight display and MFD the multifunctional display I think it is obvious I mean it is about the instruments here let us have a better look yeah why not we have the option please have a look mfd brightness you see here range and so on this black here okay have a look again this is 100 percent i think let's say 30 percent it is just fine or 20 percent mfd brightness we arrange so pfd brightness yeah it is this one here of course have a look please you see, 100 percent. Yeah, this light is slightly strong, so let it be, let's say... Okay. I think 20 percent, it is just excellent. Very good. And I think, uh, last but not the least, is from the other side. Yeah, 50 percent, it, it is just excellent. And it is the same, Knobia either this one or this one it's exactly the same and PFT brightness the primary flight display brightness it is this one this is a little bit tricky because okay the light is strong here so I think let's say something something like let's say 25% or even 30% it is just excellent so here there is some difference isn't it have a look now the WAC camera, what's up guys, camera view and uh, actually you understand what we did if we turn off the landing lights this annoying bar here they didn't find the solution yet there is only a mode about it so for instance you see, I think it is how to say, I think these things are important, I mean these things are important when you land so I can as well turn on the runway lights all lights actually taxi lights beacon lights they are on isn't it yeah they are yeah these are on strobe lights yeah these are on by default seems so it is just okay I think I didn't uh, forget something I think we are installed the lights yeah, we see now the strobe lights, the logo lights, the beacon lights. Beacon lights, where are they? Are there any? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, here, here. 
you see exactly here i think this is all for now if you found this tutorial interesting don't forget to subscribe to the channel thumbs up comment you take care and bye for now